Welcome back to War Thunder and welcome back to Realistic Expectations. Today we will talk a little bit of, about the Tau 154A1 and the dev block that just came out states from a player for the players. This is another player created plane and it is a German twin engine knight interceptor. It will um, get into the game at rank 3 as a premium plane and when you decide yourself to buy this plane a certain amount of the golden eagles that you spend will get to the creator of this plane in the shape of real money not golden eagles real money according to the dev block this plane will have a rapid climb rate a decent speed and good maneuverability and um, i'm looking forward how it plays out but what is the actual selling point of this plane in my opinion it brings nothing spectacularly new to the table and that leads us to the armament. In the dev block, it is stated that this plane has two 20mm MG151-20s and two 30mm MK108s. Well, which specific weapons are found out by research because it just states two 20mm and two 30mm. As ammunition capacity, in the dev block, it stands gigantic ammunition complement. Again, in the research, I found out that, um, according to my research data, 200 rounds per uh, MG151 and 110 rounds per 30mm, so 420mm and 220-30mm, is not gigantic in my definition. It is a good solid base, but nothing spectacular. Um, especially when we compare it to other planes in the tech tree for example the me4 10 b6r3 it has 700 rounds for the 220 millimeters and 240 for the mk 103s so uh, 20 shells more for better cannons at least i think that the mk 103s are better than the mk 108s but i guess it's personal preference the next thing is that the um Heinkel 219A7 that we see as a premium plane is relatively cheap, especially for a tier 4 premium plane. And it features two MG151 20s with 600 rounds, not just 400, two um, 30 mm MK108s with 200 rounds, so 20 shells less. But additionally, it has two 20mm MK103s, again with 200 rounds. That gives it a completely different um, magnitude of firepower, in my opinion. Um, and also you can switch through the different ammunition types for the 30mm. I think, overall, I'm looking forward to this plane. I'm looking forward that we see yet another revenue share program plane in the game. That is something really good, and Gaijin should really um try to um yeah get more people into this and you as community you should really think about if you have the time and a plane in mind that you want to see in the game you can um do a little bit of research get yourself the program and start you know building your own plane and then you actually can see how difficult it is to make such a model anyways that's it for me today I hope you enjoyed this video. The link for the dev blog will be in the video description below. And let me know in the comment section if you have additional, you know, information about this. I would be highly interested in it. That's it for today. Please give this video a like if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more. And we'll see each other in the skies of War Thunder.